Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon and I'm here today to do flip through of book number two for my Etsy shop. I have three envelope books um, that I'll be listing and a bunch of other things I went over in the first video. So yeah, so this is book number two and I just made a simple cover and on the cover here, just a gorgeous printable wallpaper. It says, and dreams. It has this fun tassel beaded trim. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, teal seam binding and a blue sparkly jewel. There's the wax seal of a feather and a little butterfly. Of course, the super fun trim here, some bossed papers, and then the little, um, book plate or cover picture is this stunning, stunning image, a beautiful swan. It's just gorgeous. And so I've decorated that with some more of this beautiful ribbons, picking up the blues in her dress. And then I attach this really beautiful vintage inspired earring piece. And I just think that's um, very pretty and delicate. And then printable on the back for you to write maybe your name and date or if this is a gift um you could write your to to your special person there um on the cover also has a top loading pocket beautiful tag i have some new tool here with flowers on it super delicate very feminine and then inside um well it has a um I like to make sure I have little tags and all kinds of places for you to journal. So that is goes in there. And then this page has a pocket again. Beautiful. There's my little cake. Some trims. A pretty little three-dimensional butterfly. And then I have in this pocket my favorite little shoe the fun little tag that i made using this fussy cut rose and that's ready for a story and a picture maybe i have a little stationery these little stationery sets i absolutely love i love adding them to my journals and it's just so um feminine and pretty so yeah, and th these are from Dear Julie on Etsy. I absolutely love all of her things. That's where some of these printables came from. As always, if you see something that I have, um, please let me know in the description box and I will let you know um, where it came from because I use so many different digitals and just my collection is enormous <laughs> um, but i will definitely let you know where um, any printable that i use came from um, this is a really fun little embroidered golden piece of netting i just love it and i sewed a little button through just to hold it in place and then this is uh, stretchy lace that I like to use because I can stuff this little pocket and I did with um, this little uh, notebook so it says on the cover not, not all who wander are lost and it also has a little pocket on the cover and I just added some little baby tags in there and it's actually one signature that I sewed using this seam binding and it's on this beautiful wallpaper printable. And then the pages are just a variety of things. Usually what's hanging out on my desk, I added a doily, rose printables. There's some more scrapbooking papers, some ledger. I did add a coloring page and I really like um, cutting these down and making them small so that, you know, they're doable. There's a lot of coloring <laughs> and a lot of times with me when I do these, and I love to do them, I think color 
is such a fun exercise for any age. Um, I love color. It just makes me happy blending them and putting different ones together. Um, but when I sit down to do these, they're so big and or and detailed, I don't finish them a lot of the time. So I like adding them in small. That way you have um, a better chance of, of completing them, which will make you happy. Um, yeah, plus they're really pretty. Oh uh, yeah, so that's just um, a fun little notepad that I made. And that goes right inside there like so. Um, again, also has a top loading pocket with um, another tag. And then on this side are some flips. So there's this one, and then this one, here, and here. And then there's a little teacup. And I just added this little uh, image. But you could put a picture there and write about it. Um, this is just a fun little flip out for you. And then a top loading tag here. Ready for a story. And then I did attach some tool on the bottom. And then over here is my little swan. I just love her. She's on a, a vintage ledger. Here's some more tool. Some, these little floral tool just goes so well with her. And she has her gold crown and her flowers. Just love. And then she can be flipped over. Of course, you know, you have this spot on the back to journal. And then there's a pocket. In the pocket are some journaling cards and more tags. And these are all ready to be journaled on. Of course, um, let me just take this out. You can see this beautiful paper. And that's ready for um, maybe a poem or a favorite quote, a prayer. Um, yeah, so that goes in this little pocket here. She comes back. I haven't given her a name. I need to give her a name. Um, but this is a side pocket there. You can kind of see the envelopes in there. And then it has this beautiful envelope. Oh, oops, I forgot. Sorry. In this pocket is one of my vintage uh, slides. Well, it's not vintage. It is made to look vintage. And you can see I just put a little floral in there. Um, these really feel like an old slide. Um, yeah, I forgot, so that goes in there. <laughs> okay, so back to this. Uh, beautiful envelope, and inside is just a floral piece of cardstock, ready for a story and a picture. And that goes inside this pocket here. And then I do have, so that's why I have this, um clothespin here and it will hold this closed. I have more of that embroidered netting. It's just so beautiful. And then this is actually held with a little bit of um, a little Velcro dot and that's also a flip for you to journal on. So you can see the space and then there's a little tuck spot back here. And I didn't glue the side so that you have all this space to tuck things into. I hope that makes sense. And then you can also put um, extra things inside here and keep it closed with the Velcro. And then I like to use the clothespin and that'll just hold everything together. And also too, if you put a lot of things in here, this will just help keep it closed. And then here on the back page is the little notebook. On the cover is a little um, very old mother pearl button, I think, or some sort of shell. It's definitely a shell of some sort. And then I just, um, with the gold thread, just strung on a few more vintage buttons. I have so many vintage buttons, so it feels good to use them. And they go so well with pretty much everything. 
Um, and then in this notebook here, there's a good amount of things in the pocket here to um, play with. That is some tea dyed ledger, some beautiful floral journaling cards, and cut aparts. There's a quote, a little advertisement, and then the word beautiful. When I come across these, it's so fun. I put them to the side, and then if I have one, I'll add it to um, the book. <laughs> they just make me laugh. Um, and then here's the little notepad. Again, just filled with scraps and things that are on my, um, on my desk. This one here I don't think is attached, but that's okay. Um, and then another coloring page. Some beautiful wallpaper here. And then you've got a spot for a picture here. Um, and then this is a journaling card here. And that's the back. And we can, this is um, pretty sturdy. And I think that looks just beautiful right there. Um, and then ooh, I didn't show you also beautiful um, larger tag to journal on there in the pocket. So that is, um, Vintage number, um, yeah, envelope book number two. So thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay update with the new collections I have for my Etsy shop. The listings will be down below as I do the pictures and things, hopefully by tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, just thank you so much for watching. Have a really great day. Bye-bye.